Select the member of each pair that shows the greater rate of SN2 reaction with Ki in acetone. So what makes SN2 reaction go, go faster? What does SN2 reaction like? First of all, in terms of the substrate, substrate is the molecule that gets attacked by the nucleophile. For the substrate, SN2 prefers primary, and it's okay with secondary, and it want, never wants a tertiary substrate. What does it mean? So we will have a leaving group. I'm just going to abbreviate it as LG on a carbon, and we will look at the carbon that's attached to the leaving group. If that carbon is attached to one carbon only, like this, then this is primary. This carbon is only attached to one carbon. If this carbon is attached to two carbons, it's secondary. If it's attached to three carbons, it's tertiary. The reason SN2 prefers primary substrate is because the nucleophile, in this case Ki, K is positive, I is negative, iodine minus will attack from the back in SN2, the nucleophile attacks from the back and if there are too many groups in the back, it will not be able to get through to that carbon. So for example, if I have a leaving group and if there are a lot of groups in the back, the nucleophile won't be able to get through to this carbon and it won't be able to attack. Also, what kind of leaving groups do we like? Well, in terms of halogens, iodine is the best leaving group, then bromine, then chlorine. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and do these problems. We can see that everything that is given to us here is a substrate. So we're looking at the substrates and these halogens on the substrate, these are the leaving groups. So this, so the difference in A, we can see that here we have a chlorine leaving group and here we have a bromine leaving group and that's the only difference. So that must be what we must base our decision on. Now, who is a better leaving group, chlorine or bromine? We said bromine is a better leaving group. So bromine is going to win and we're going to say this is going to be the substrate that will, go, that will have a greater rate in SN2 reaction. Now let's look at B. What is the difference here? The leaving group is the same, so we can base our decision on that. What kind of substrate do I have? So this chlorine is attached to a carbon that's attached to one carbon only. This is primary. This chlorine is attached to a carbon that's attached to carbon, one carbon only. It is primary also. So how do we decide? Well, you can see that here on the carbon next to the carbon that is next to the carbon that the living group is attached to, it has a lot of branches. It is kind of bulky. Whereas here, the carbon that our leaving group the carbon that is next to the carbon that the living group is attached to, it doesn't have as many branches. Again, it is really hard because SN2 is trying to come from the back. The last branch our molecule is, especially on the carbons that are closest to the carbon with the living group, the faster SN2 reaction will happen. So because this is more branched, it will be harder for the nucleophile to attack from the back and so this molecule will react faster. And this is I believe called beta branching. Now let's go to part C. What is the difference here? What kind of leaving group we have? Chlorine, chlorine, so no difference here. This one is a primary because this carbon is attached to one carbon only and this carbon is attached to one carbon only as well, it's primary as well. But what is the difference? Again, it's the same as the previous example. The carbon that is next to a carbon that has the leaving group here is really branched. So it has three methyl groups, it has a lot of groups attached to it, so it will be hard for the iodide a nucleophile to come in from the back and to attack this molecule. Whereas here it is less branch, right? This carbon doesn't have as many as many things attached to it. So this carbon, this substrate should go faster. This is Maya Lucci from Transformation Tutoring and I really hope that you found this video helpful.